Ready for liftoff and the air and sea adjacent to complex 37 and along the flight path are clear. At T minus 30 seconds, launch conductor Scott Barney will conduct one final short status check to verify all systems remain go for launch. Terminal count. At T minus 15 seconds, the ROFIs or radial outward firing igniters will light to burn off residual hydrogen around the base of the vehicle. At T minus 7 seconds, the starboard engine will ignite followed by the port and core engines at T minus five seconds, and liftoff will occur at T zero. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of Patrick Moore with launch vehicle ascent data. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus four minutes and holding. We anticipate releasing the hold in just a few moments. T minus four minutes. The countdown clock is resumed. We've entered the terminal count. Go for launch. Ground pyro is enabled. Minus 325. Second stage lock secure at flight level. Second stage liquid oxygen systems are now secured and ready for flight. Minus 307. That's 249. FTS internal. CBC locked at flight pressure and flight level. Vehicle now on internal power. First stage lock systems are secured for flight. Minus two minutes. Hydraulic pressure at 4,000. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequence or start. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. Minus 140. FTS launch enable. 137. FTS arm. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and eastern range are go for launch. Minus 120. OCUs armed. FCS count started. T minus one minute. Engine start, box go. Rock, report range status. Range green. Minus 50. Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. Minus 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 44. Fifteen. Rofi ignition. 
Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And, and lift off. And stand by. We've obviously had a hot fire abort. And LC uh, verifies me, could confirm. This is Delta Launch Control. The last call from the launch conductor indicating that he has confirmed that the engines did not start. At this point, the launch team will be securing the launch vehicle, ensuring that all systems are saved. Received a Tisser abort. Roger. And are you ready to reset the clock, team? As for and holding. Roger, ready. Roger, ALC, re reset countdown clock to team minus four minutes and holding. Roger. LC, LCS in pre-flight mode. Roger. Prop 1, verify safe RS-68 shutdown and follow Alert. purge configuration. Active, sir. DST-1, LC. DST-1, best source select number 4 to switch best source select number 1 and best select Source select number two, force to channel one. Roger. MEQ, swing arm lock pins install. In work. And LC uh, pad looks nominal. OSM, can you verify? We're doing sweeps right now. Roger. I don't see, I don't see any fires. LC, lock pins installed. Roger. ALC, establish engine cooling water off. Water off. LCOSM. OSM. Sweep complete, no fires. Roger. And USO, you can verify same. USO verified. Roger. And MEQ, Elsie. Go ahead. Did you verify lock pins installed? Yes. Roger. 
All right. Report system status, field one. Field one nominal. Field two. Field two nominal. Locks one. Locks one nominal. Locks two. Locks two is nominal. And prop one. Uh, we're still looking, sir, but we uh, we think we're nominal at this time. Roger. Report one complete. Roger. And PNE, have you established PSN2? Verified. HYE, secure hydraulics. Roger. Has gas established scan pattern 305. Roger. GE, establish arm igniters, reset. Reset. PNE, verify nose cone purge on and set heater to 164 degrees. Verified. OSM, Elsie. OSM. Report ready to safe vehicle ordinance. Ready. And uh, verify OSM concurrence safe FTS. OSM concurs. FTS, command FTS safe and external. In work. This is Delta Launch Control. Uh, as you're hearing on the net, the team is working to secure and safe the vehicle. Um, swing arm lock pins have been installed to ensure the swing arms uh, will not, uh, not be retracted. And all vehicle systems are being evaluated for their status. So far, all nominal calls from all of the uh, operators relative to their, their systems on the uh, ground and on the launch vehicle. MEQ, report swing arm system secured. Secured. ALC on TC emergency pedal, remote cameras normal. Normal. PNA, configure helium supplies. In work. LC, flight control is ready to see. Roger. LD, LC, that one. LD on one. LD, we had a hot fire abort at T minus three seconds. We have performed our uh, abort sequence securing. We are ready to proceed into uh, detanking operations. Proceed, LC. All right, team, we're proceeding to Operation 80. And RC notify range uh, of decision. RC copies. Flight control terminate option 910 and reset 910 flags. Roger. And LC to 1 when able. Uh, LC go. Yes, sir. Prop 1 finally can uh, state. Systems nominal. Roger.
Option 910 terminated and flag 3 set. Roger. And flight control re enable MSE Adams limit monitor. Roger, it's going to work. MSC limit monitors are enabled. Roger. RLM LC. RLM, go ahead. Stop red line monitor. Roger. LC flight control is ready for clock to reset to T plus five minutes and counting. Roger. ALC, adjust clock to T plus five minutes and start plus count. Roger. Pass gas, LC. LC, RLM. Go ahead. Uh, go RLM. RLM. RLM is stopped. Roger. Pass gas, um, proceed to scan pattern 305. Roger. And MEQ, we've already established swing arm lock pins installed. Roger. Uh, shut down swing arm hydraulic system. Roger. OSM LC. Awesome. First step 70, drop FHA roadblocks and establish BDA roadblocks. Roger. OSM SRM ignition disable. Just disabled. SYS LC. Go. Establish T4 PCM data transferred anomaly per data station PCM selection item. Roger. PNE LC. Go for PNE. Perform initial securing for step 70. Roger. MEA LC network. SIMEA, go ahead. Yeah, can uh, you verify FEVBS covers remain intact? Uh, yes, sir. They all are intact. All nine. 